tell them that you know there are, are alternate groups other than Autism Speaks and that there are issues with the way Autism Speaks speaks about autistic people and issues with the way that they spend the money. I just want to be there as another voice to say that there's another way. I am here, I think mostly for three major reasons. I'm here because I am against the practice of eugenics that is practiced by Autism Speaks. I am here because I believe that the people who spend money to, um, to for Autism Speaks as charity do not know where their money goes towards, and I think that it's important for them to know. And I'm here because if people with autism were in decision-making positions, we wouldn't have to be here at all. I want my autism to be seen in a light better than the less than flattering one that it's been portrayed in so often and just you in, guys in the media and in it and uh, just in everyday conversation even sometimes. I'm here because I have autism myself, uh, Asperger syndrome. And I believe it's very important that you have your own rights to speak your own mind. I mean, if you are not able to stand up for yourself, you're not going to be able to get what you need. You'll be dependent on other people to speak for you. I'm here today because I support uh, autistic self-advocacy, and I'm here because I feel like uh, dollars raised to support autistic people should actually go to people and families. I'm here to stand up and support my rights. Good to see you guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'm here today to protest Autism Speaks for a lot of reasons. Perhaps the most important one being that they are not representative of autistic people's best interests, nor are they representative of families' best interests. Uh, only 2% of the money they raise actually goes back to local communities. So they are, in effect, driving money out of Columbus. Um, another major issue is they do not have autistic representation in their leadership, which is hugely problematic. My name is Cindy Self, and I teach at Ohio State University, and I'm here today to support autistic people's right to speak for themselves and to let people know what they need and what they want. Okay. I think that's an important part of the autistic self-advocacy network effort. It's important that we come and we make that change happen.